Papaha. Papaha. Where is my papaha? Yeah, oh, Kelvin Gastelum stole my papaha. So let let him bring my papaha. Does it mean that you're going to be in team, team Costa Rica for the? For the uh, I, I, I'm 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 fifty fifty. I'm big fan of Connor and I'm big fan of uh, Khabib. Khabib two different styles. Uh, as you saw, I never predict the fights. I don't like to predict the fights. People can do that. They can predict my fights, but I never do that. But uh, anything and everything can happen in the fight. So this is definitely the fight of uh, of uh, of what, like a century yeah. in MMA. So I cannot wait to to watch two real great warriors fighting uh, each other. So I'm 50-50. Two different styles, like I said, and anything can happen. Anyone is supporting here tonight? Uh, I, 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 I want to support my uh, friends uh, from ATT, Arlovski, Olenik, and, and uh, Thiago Alves, and uh, two guys from uh, Poland. I'm very close with Jan Blachowicz. We used to compete together in Muay Thai back in the day, so I'm very happy to be here in Moscow. Uh, statistics on my social media shows that I have so many uh, fans in Russia, and I could, feel the, I could feel that today. I saw that today at the... Uh, meet and greet with my fans at the fan village. Uh, it's great. It's a great spot to be. Uh, I'm looking forward and I believe that UFC will be back to Russia, to Moscow, maybe St. Petersburg next. That, that would be great. So talking about Russian fighters, obviously talks about you fighting Valentina Shevchenko and you already said that you would want to do this. Yeah, this fight, this fight is not on, so uh, of course I've got an offer, but uh, we'll see. I've, I'm very open to fight Valentina Shevchenko. Uh, I always want to fight the best fighters and I think that definitely she is one of the uh, top uh, female fighters in the world. Multiple world Muay Thai champion, uh, very successful in MMA, so we'll see what's going to happen. What do you feel about the decision about taking her belt away? Do you think it was fair? Uh, I think it was fair, man. I paid the ultimate price for my... Uh, I paid the ultimate price, but I, I was on wait uh, November 2017, and I would do this the same, because for me it's a shame for us and fighter, athlete and champion to not be on wait. So, man, we need real and dedicated fighters and champions in the UFC. It's simply the best organizations in the world. And here is not, not a, 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 a space and time for, for bullshit like this. So uh, it was very hard decision, very tough decision. And I believe that she's not happy, but man, you must take this uh, job very serious and you must be 100% in. And weight cuts are not easy, are not nice, but it's part of our job, so we shouldn't complain and, and just be on weight when, when you have to be. There's a good chance of Jessica Andrade might fight Rose Amadionas for the title now. Because it's not mine. This fight is going to happen. Rose, uh, I, 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 I bet that Jessica Andrade is, is the next challenger for the uh, title in, in 115 division. And great performance last week. And she's the next one in line. And who do you think wins that fight? I don't know, like I said, it's 50-50, anything can happen, anything can happen, but uh, we saw that Andreas uh, is a gifted fighter with the power, so she's very powerful, but people don't know how to fight her. If Rose will uh, do her homework and, and if she watches my fight with Jessica Andreas, she can be successful in this fight, but Andreas is a very dangerous fighter. You must uh, have a go good game plan for the fight with uh, Jessica against her. Obviously, you and Karolina Kowalkiewicz have some history together, but she was obviously very sad and noticeably sad afterwards. Do you have any message for her? Oh, just keep your head up. It's, it's tough business. It's tough business. I've been in this business for 15 years. We win, we learn, and uh, that's it. We keep on going. And uh, you can see the value and the strength of the fighter after, after, the, after they take a losses, yeah? You still don't have a main event for Madison Square Garden. Could you be ready or is that... Why not? I can be ready soon, but honestly, it's been like seven, eight weeks after my last fight with Tisha Torres. I've been very busy. I, I hit so many projects, like I told you before. Uh, so I want to I wanna prepare good for my next fight, but 
Hey man, if they call me, I could step even today if someone uh, didn't make weight. But um, I want to prepare good for my next fight. We will see when it's going to happen. Keeping in mind your uh, previous experience with Valentina Shevchenko in Muay Thai, would you be concerned fighting her because already, you already had how many, three fights? Concern about what? How many fights did you have? With did her? you watch my fight with her? Yeah, I did. You did, and what do you think? Which one? First one, second, or third one? All of them. And what do you think? She won them. <laughs> she won them. Okay, that's cool. That was the decision, right? Yeah, but the last two fights were very close. So, you, yeah, but, but, man, it's been it. It was like ten years ago. We are different fighters. Uh, we're not gonna be meet in the ring. We're gonna meet in the octagon. So that's the point. So it's a different game. Of course, it's a different. Game. We we different people right now. We different athletes right now. We are different fighters. So. There is nothing I must be concerned about. Should I? Are you? I'm not fighting. Are you concerned or not? I'm neutral. Oh, that's nice. That's good to hear. Is it possible that switching camps affect your performance? No. I'm very happy with American Top Team. I think it was one of the greatest decisions in my fighting career. So I'm very happy with my coaches, with Mikey Brown, Katel Kubis, and. You know, uh, there are great, great people. Not only great coaches, but great people. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, yeah. Good. A few questions. Yeah.